Hold up the shipments. Send in your troops. Troops on their way. Enemy forces are trying to commandeer a weapons shipment. Destroy it immediately. I'll hold them up for now. We've got the shipment. There's one more that we can grab. Just send another unit to extract the shipment. They're coming. Call up the shipments. Send in your troops. Troops on their way. Enemy forces are trying to commandeer a weapons shipment. Destroy it immediately. I'll hold them up for now. We've got the shipment. There's one more that we can grab. Just send another unit to extract the shipment. They're coming. Rico, hold on! 
the shipments. Send in your troops. Troops on their way. Enemy forces are trying to commandeer a weapons shipment. Destroy it immediately. I'll hold them up for now. Those troops. Almost there. there now. Extract the shipment. They're coming.
Vamos, Rico. Hold on. Save some for me, Sargento.
using state-of-the-art technology to bring that noise to listeners all over Solis. Yes, they get paid to do this. It's the Tiago and Santiago Show. Welcome back to Tiago and Santiago. ¿Cómo están ustedes? I am Tiago. Which must mean that I am Santiago. Yeah, probably. Santiago? Yes? As you know, I consider myself quite an enthusiastic reader. No, I actually did not know that about you. I know you watch a lot of TV that is based on books, but I don't think that's the same thing. It's pretty much the same thing. For example, I have read all of the books of Diego El Santo. I know what happens at the end. See, see, everyone does. That show is about the first ever Espinosa that came to Solis 500 years ago. The end of that show is the formation of the country of Solis. Yeah, well... Okay, okay, fine. Let's pretend that I read a lot. <laughs> Bien, yes, yes, let's pretend. I had the honor of receiving an advanced copy, which I hold in my hand right here, of Oscar Espinosa's autobiography, titled, I am the son of my father. Oh, wow, nice. I remember what I learned in school about Senor Espinosa's dad, Leon. But I assume this book goes deeper into that. Oh, so deep. You have no idea. The book really gives you a sense of what inspired Oscar Espinosa to become the great leader and visionary that he is today. The hardships he suffered, the challenges he faced. I assume he discusses the accident. Claro. As most of us know, Oscar Espinosa's father, Leon Espinosa, died in a plane crash about, uh, what, 15, 20 years ago? 20 years ago. So 20 years ago, his dad dies when Leon's plane gets caught in a freak tornado. And in the same week that he loses his father, Oscar Espinosa has to immediately take over as the head of all the Espinosa companies. Where he ended up doing pretty well for himself. I mean, since he took over, the economy of Solis has been uh, not bad. Uh-huh, and the Black Hand have gone from a bunch of local badasses to one of the most badass military forces on the planet. See, si, see, si, of course. But I think what most people want to hear about is Project Iyapa. Is there anything in the book on that? A lot of people I'm talking to are getting pretty curious out here. Well, there's not a whole lot in the book. I don't think Senor Espinosa is going to give up any trade secrets. Sure, but... It's just amazing that Oscar Espinosa's reaction to his father's death was to throw himself into Project Iyapa. I think most people, their parents get killed by a storm and they think, okay, that's it, these things happen. But Oscar says, no, these things don't just happen. And I'm going to do everything in my power to try to stop something like that ever happening to anyone else's father or mother or nephew or landlord or llama ever again. No, no, see, sí, see, sí, that, that's a good point. But I'd still like to know what's really going on with Project Iapa. I don't know if you've been outside in the past 20 years, Tiago, but Solis weather is still a little volatile. Well, controlling the weather is a pretty big challenge, I'd imagine. But it has to be. Santiago, I learned a lot of cool things from Oscar Espinosa's new book, and now I'm going to quiz you with some rapid fire, true or false type questions. Okay. Go ahead. Just a reminder to the audience that we did not discuss this ahead of time. <laughs> no one's going to think that, Diago. Okay, first, Oscar Espinosa is the current head of the Espinosa companies. True or false? True, we just covered that. Correct. Okay, next. Oscar Espinosa had a pronounced stutter until the age of 11. False. No, nope. it is in the book. It's something he worked very hard to overcome. Interesting. Next. Oscar Espinosa is a fan of the Diago and Santiago show. I mean, I, I hope true. Absolutely true. He mentions it several times in his autobiography. I find that hard to believe. And finally, according to Oscar Espinosa's new autobiography, I am the son of my father, when it comes to the Diago and Santiago show, Oscar's preferred host is... Diago. There is no way that he wrote that in his autobiography. No, 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 he did. Okay, okay, well, what page? What do you mean? What page did he write that? Give me that book you're holding and tell me what page. Oh, I can't. It's only in the digital version, I think. Kind of like a DVD extra. You're a sad man. <laughs> you have no idea. Back, back to, to Prisalto. We'll be back with more Tiago. This factory has been expanded half a dozen times. Power every circuit at once and the grid will shoot. Tiago and Santa. This is the reboot? I take it down. Power grid's accessible from three different QC bays. Our support is en route. That unit on its way will be on site shortly. Hostile is in ground vehicle. Enemy target is attacking. You copy command. Solid copy on enemy contact. Uh -huh. Deploying reinforcements. Okay, then. Re-establish visual. 
Each of the switches routes power to different areas of the factory. You need to get every section powered. Hmm. I'll figure it out. Calling off search for hostile. Resume regular patrol. Race. You fool! We're sending another spot to your position. 